Hello everyone, I'm Adam Anderson, product trainer at Maple Systems. Welcome back to our EB Pro training series. In the last video, we saved our project, configured system settings, downloaded to the HMI, and viewed the running application using VNC. In this video, we're going to add some new functionality to our project. We'll start by adding another numeric input object. Then we'll create a simple macro to add the two numbers together from our two numeric inputs and we'll take that sum and display it using a third numeric object over to the right. Now to begin, we created a separate window so we can build up this project in stages. We just copied the numeric object window here using the window copy function and we created this new window called numeric objects and sum function. So we're going to be adding to this window and we created a new function key to navigate to that window here on the home screen. Now the first thing that we need to do is add more user-defined tags. So we'll do that from the project tab and click on address, select user-defined tags and then click on new. We're going to use a word for the address mode and we're going to select local word 1 as the address. We'll give it a name myint2 and we'll set the data format to 16-bit unsigned and then click OK. Then we'll create one more. This will use local word 2 and 16-bit unsigned and this one we will call my sum 1 and then click OK. Alright, now we can exit and we can add new numeric objects that point to those tags from here or we can also copy and paste from an existing object and that will keep the same size so we'll do that and double click on it, click on settings, and then we can change the address over here to myint2 for this one. We'll do one more copy and paste, move this over to the right, and we'll just center this here. And then we're going to switch this one over to my sum one And this one we don't want to allow input, so we'll uncheck allow input on this but these other two both will allow input. Now for the last portion we're going to create a simple macro that will allow us to enter in a value in my int1 and 2 and have the sum calculated automatically and written to this my sum tag. So we'll go to the project tab here to start click on macro, click new, we're going to name this sum and to begin in our macro we need to declare our variables. So these are going to be short for the type and we're going to declare three of them, a, b, and sum. Now the first thing we'll do is we will use a getData function to grab the value from the myInt1 tag and the myInt2 tag and write them to these variables here. So we'll click on get set function and this can help you to set up your syntax properly. Choose get data. The variable A is where we'll be storing the first tag's value. Click on user defined tag for read address and then click on address type to pull up this list. And we'll select my int1 and click OK. Note that is just one word worth of data here. And we'll do the same thing to grab the value from my int2 and store that in our variable b. So get set function and get data. Variable b is where we'll write that. User define tag my int2 and click OK. Now we'll have that information available within the scope of our macro so we can go ahead and write our function now. Sum equals a plus b. Pretty simple, huh? Now the last step is to use the set data function so we can take that value and write it back out to the my sum tag. So we'll click get set function again. This time we're going to go down to set data and we're going to be using the sum variable the value from there. We're going to write to my sum one. So click OK. That's all we need for this macro to be able to work. Now we just need to choose when or how it will execute. 
if you want this to execute based on some trigger bit, you can do that from the security section here. We're going to use periodic execution instead. So every second, it's going to be running this automatically. So it will constantly create this sum for us and then write the value to my sum one. So now we'll click save and compile. If there's any errors, it will let you know down here. So ours is good and we can click exit click exit again and at this point we can go ahead and re-download to our HMI so we're going to go first save and then download from PC to HMI okay that's done now we'll click exit and pull up our VNC client again now we've got the running application in front of us this is what's on the HMI screen as well. We'll click on the numeric objects and some function navigation button here. And at this point, we can click on a numeric input object. We can enter in a first value. And we see the total shows up right here right away. We can enter in a second value in the second input object. And again, we see that new total is reflected there right away. So that's it for our numeric objects and sum function for this video. In the next video, we'll show you how you can test out new functionality, new visuals, and things that you add to your project without re-downloading the project to your HMI every time. And for that, we'll be using EB Pro's simulation mode. We'll show you both online and offline simulation. So check that out.